the unit 11, the first half is inverse, and the second half of the unit is composition. So 11a, find the inverse of a function. Proper steps to solve an inverse problem. First, switch the x and the y in the problem. So physically, just take the x and switch it with the y. Second, solve the equation for y. It's going to be solved for x, so you have to solve for y. Third thing, replace the y when you get it solved for with F, you put a negative 1 in between f of x, and this is this is notation for inverse. Let's get into the problem. So example 1, find the inverse. So g of n, that's the same thing as y. So this is y here. And then n in this case, that's going to stand, that's going to be our x. So let's switch x or the y and n. So n equals y plus 3. How do I solve for y? This is step 2. 3. Now we have y equals n minus 3. Instead of y, we need to signify that this is a inverse, so we do f of negative 1 of x, which that's just inverse of n minus 3, and the x instead of n, or x is for the n. Alright, let's look at another problem. So Find the inverse, f of n, that's y, n here, let's think of that as x, switch, x and, oh, let's make this x, switch the x and y, I don't know why I made that so big, so, so we have plus 2, I don't know why it's all, all the way over there. So now we have the plus 2 here. First thing you have to do is isolate the cube root. So we subtract 2. So it's the reverse order of operations to simplify a side. So x minus 2 equals the cube root of y minus 1. And then, opposite of a cube root, now that it's isolated, you can cube it. Cube the left side, so you're cubing the whole binomial. And then, cube root and cube, simplify. And now we're left with what's underneath the cube root, which is y minus 1. And take this to y by itself. Opposite of subtract 1 to add 1, we have x minus 2 cubed plus 1 equals y and now let's replace y with the inverse and I'll rewrite it so the inverse is on the left and the last one, example 3 for this Okay, for example 3, we have h of n, that's going to be our y, and then here's our x, so let's switch those again. 3 over y plus 1, plus 2, and so now it's a little bit different because there's a rational here, and you have a variable in the denominator, so we're going to have to do something a little different at that point, but first you got to get this fraction here isolated. Much like with radical, you have to isolate fraction first. And then you cannot solve for a ver or an equation. You can't solve for a variable in an equation if it's in the denominator. So we need to get this out of the denominator. The only way, you, only move you can do is since there's a division here, is do the opposite. Divided by y plus 1, so you need to multiply by y plus 1. So 
you multiply on the left by y plus 1, you multiply on the right by y plus 1, you multiply on the left, times y plus 1. So you binomial n minus 2, so put parentheses around it. That gets the y out of the denominator. And now we can work. We still got to get y by itself, so now we're going to work on the left to get the y by itself. So in the middle here, it was multiplying. So you can divide by a binomial. So let's divide by n minus 2. Robin, this ain't my mommy. So divide by n minus 2. And you get, now it's, this binomial is left alone, so you can drop the parentheses. It's not multiplied by anything anymore. And you get 3 over n minus 2. And we subtract 1. Subtract 1. And you get y equals 3 over n minus 2 minus 1. So y is isolated. Now let's rewrite it. I always just write f of x, but I guess you should probably write initial h of n, so this should be h n. So And that is it. H or inverse of H of n is 3 over n minus 2, subtracting 1. Now moving on to 11b, which is graphing the inverse of a function as a reflection across the line y equals x. So we're going to graph the function and its inverse. So now we're going to do inverses with graphs. So we have f of x equals 3x plus 3. Let's make up a table. So let's look at what numbers can I put in for x that will make easy y. So let's put in negative 1. Maybe 3 times negative 1. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So negative 1, 0 is one of my coordinates. Let's put in 0. Substitute 0 in. 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 3 is 3. Let's substitute in 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Plus 3 is 6. So negative 1, 0, 0, 3, and 1, 6. So this is the function. To do the inverse of this, it's pretty simple. So the inverse just take the x's and y's and switch them. So it was negative 1, 0, it's going to be 0, negative 1. So you're just physically switching them just like you did with the equation. So 0, 3 becomes 3, 0. And 1, 6 becomes 6, 1. So plot those points. So 0, negative 1. 3, 0. And 6, 1. And this is the graph of the inverse. If you notice in the learning target, it says it reflects across the line y equals x. y equals x, that line runs through the origin. And whenever the x equals a number, the y equals the same number. So it's this diagonal here. And so the function of f of x and the inverse are reflections across this line. So moving on, graph the function and its inverse. Make up a table again. Remember, we're doing these by hand. So y equals x. What numbers would be easy in here to make, or be easy to solve? So 3 minus 3 is 0. 2 root of 0 is 0. Minus 2 is negative 2. And let's try 2 or 4. 4 minus 3 is 1, 1, 2 root of 1 is 1, minus 2 is negative 1, and since we have to do the cube root of something, let's put, and let's do 2, so 2, 2 minus 3, negative 1, cube root of negative 1 is 1, minus 2 is negative 1. So 
Bug me 3 points. 3, negative 2. 4, negative 1. And 2. Oh, that should be negative 3. This should be negative 3. 2 greater than negative 1 is negative 1, minus 2 is negative 3. Try in this graph. And to find the inverse, switch the points. Negative two, three. Negative one, four. Negative three, two. So negative two, three. Negative one, four. And negative three, two. Now, one thing you have to know about inverse is the inverse of a cube root is cubic. So this is a cubic function. So it's going to be the inverse is going to be a cubic function, not cube root. So it will not be the same shape. It will be cubic function shape. And if you look, y equals x, you can go right through this line here. So come to class with any questions. Thanks.